Hi, I was trying to build a hotplate based on the design I posted some time ago. It was not as successful as I would like to be, in other words, it failed. But nonetheless, I have discovered something interesting. I mean, at least I assume that this is not such known thing because I have never seen something like that. So I've got myself some infrared sources. These are basically lamps that go into electric room heaters or radiators. For example, these are the specs of this one. Nothing fancy, really. I am placing these aluminum mantinels to restrict the angle of the light, basically. I guess that lens will be much better, but this will do. Then I will place a piece of plastic on top of this contraption. I think you should be good even with not completely clear materials. I mean, within reason, of course. Anyway, so the idea is that the infrared light will penetrate the plastic and heat it from inside, basically. I mean, not completely from the inside, but like, consistently. And once the plastic is quite soft, you can bend it. Quite easily, actually. And, more importantly, precisely. Now, obviously, I was quite impressed by the quality that you can achieve with this system. But, I was like, this would be a nice video for YouTube, so let's push it. So I have made very tiny slit that the light will shine through. 3 millimeters exactly. And our plastic is also 3 millimeters thick. So this will be quite a challenge. Once again I have scrapped the line that I want to be a center of the bend. And let's start irradiating. I am using a track regulator here, so I can adjust not only the power level, but with that a wavelength of the light. Not sure if that will help with anything, but I can. Now in this instance there was some bubbling already occurring on the surface, so I stopped immediately and started bending. It was quite stiff, as you can see, but eventually I made it to the 90 degrees, basically what I wanted, so... I think that in this case the lens would be absolutely essential. Now here you can see some close-up of this band. There's quite a bit of material squeezed out of this thing, so this was pretty tight. And also, as you can see, the bend is exactly on the line as I want it to be. And here you can see what happens if you overheat the thing. Well, it basically behaves as if you would blowtorch it. And here's some strength test. I mean, this thing is very, very strong. I would not expect it to be so strong. I mean, especially the tight one. I have scientifically approximated this to be almost as strong as the original material. Which is pretty good, if you would ask me. Okay, so this is all I've got for now, and see you later.